The collision between Andromeda and our galaxy has begun. Let's flashback for a while to 1929, the year that altered our planet was beautiful. One of the most astounding laws of the cosmos was discovered by one of the finest astronomers of all time. What he discovered was that the cosmos was expanding as predicted by the following empirical formula. This seemingly magical formula stated that an object would move away from us more quickly the further it was from us. At that time, astronomers from all over the world have worked very hard to include this new wonderful law into a sound physical framework, and as a result, such a significant law is now known as Hubble's Law. The renowned Hubble constant, represented by the H0 constant in the formula, did indeed forever alter our knowledge of the cosmos. Since Edwin Hubble made such a significant contribution, practically everyone now is aware that the universe is expanding. Finding a more accurate estimate for the Hubble constant is now one of the most difficult challenges to tackle. Further observations over the years have continued to support this empirical statement. As of right now, it has a value of roughly 71 kilometers per second per megaparsec. You might be wondering why he is bringing up Hubble's law, I didn't forget, so don't worry, the collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda is the subject of this video. We need to comprehend the Hubble's law in order to know why we can confidently state that Andromeda is hitting our way. Follow along in this video to learn why galaxies collide and what according to simulations will happen to our galaxy, the Milky Way, over the coming billions of years. In reality, Hubble found a strong correlation between the redshift of distant galaxies and their distance from the Sun. Naturally, this resulted in the well-known Hubble's Law, which we have already mentioned. But what does that mean? What was this close relation? He discovered that the more shifted an object's spectral lines were, the further away it was. Also, they were moved to the electromagnetic spectrum's red region. Astronomers don't typically snap pictures. They examine the division of light originating from a star source by analyzing the stellar spectrum. Lines that span the entire spectrum that define this light provide important details on the star composition, density, gas kinematics, and other factors. Because all one needed to know to determine the distance of any object in the sky was the proper value of the Hubble constant, this empirical law proved to be of great service. Had you a telescope, then? As a result, you have the redshift, which is the displacement of lines in relation to lines obtained in a lab. Had you seen the redshift? You may determine how far away your source was thanks to Hubble's relation. It appeared to be a simple ruse and too good to be true. Thus, a Doppler shift toward the red portion of the spectrum indicates that the object is moving away from us. On the other side, a blue shift in the stellar object lines indicates that it is moving toward our line of sight. It is the time when we can finally discuss galaxy collisions. Astronomers started studying the celestial objects and gathering as much redshift data as they could soon after the launch of Hubble. The great majority of things in the deep cosmos do in fact move away from us due to the universe's expansion, and this movement is governed by Hubble's rule. Nevertheless, something odd was happening. Certain objects seemed unconcerned about Hubble's law and were just moving in our direction. Why is it? was the query. These objects appeared to be breaking Hubble's law, but were they really? Nature is not a joker, thus that's the answer in this case. Even the most bizarre behavior may be explained if you research it and give it some additional thought. The gravitational attraction of the objects was the cause of the peculiar behavior that some star objects exhibited. After all, Newton's gravitational law cannot be instantly forgotten if we are familiar with Hubble's law. I'm attempting to explain that while Hubble's rule is real, it simply works better with objects that are very far away from us. We discovered that the gravitational pull is greater than the acceleration of the universe's expansion for nearer objects. This implies that occasionally, in a universe of redshifted objects, we may observe some blue-shifted ones. These are things that are moving in our direction, as we've already stated. It is not magic. 
Only gravitational attraction can outweigh the universe's expansion. Astronomers were able to plainly see the Andromeda galaxy's blue-shifted spectral lines when they focused their telescopes on it. This indicated that our galaxy was headed toward collision. The Milky Way will collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about 4.5 billion years, and astronomers are still trying to foretell what it will look like when the two galaxies clash. However, these Doppler shift measurements are limited to revealing motion that is either directed toward or away from the observer. So, a comprehensive examination of the velocity of Andromeda's satellite galaxies was necessary to determine if we were in for a direct strike or a close call. They show that Andromeda's track makes collision inevitable. You don't need to be afraid, and I'll explain why to you later in this video, so don't worry. Let's discuss how this collision will appear for the time being. The authors of an interesting report on this galactic collision have watched the event take place by entering this data on the relative velocities, estimations of the galaxy's masses, and specifics of their structure into their model. The broad picture is obvious, even though the specifics are somewhat dependent on the galactic structure and in particular on assumptions we make about the dark matter halos that house the visible disks of the Milky Way and Andromeda. First, a sequence of lengthy near approaches spanning a few billion years will occur. The two galaxy structure will be altered by gravitational potential tidal forces at each passing. The result of all these visits will be a stunning merger of the Milky Way with the Andromeda Galaxy. Astronomers have seen several galaxies colliding as of right now. Take a look at this picture as an example. It depicts the so-called NGC 34 object. There's no denying that the shape of this galaxy is a little peculiar. This galaxy's unusual appearance is primarily the result of its past. We would observe two stunning spiral galaxies on a collision trajectory if we could turn back time a few million years. These galaxies' complex structures and spiral arms were irreparably altered when they collided with one another. The galaxy's brilliant center is seen in this image as a result of the merging process, which also caused a burst of new star formation and illuminated the surrounding gas. NGC 34's shape will resemble that of a strange galaxy with no distinguishable shape when the galaxies continue to entwine and merge. While galaxy collisions are very infrequent in the expanse of space, they can occur often in megaclusters that contain hundreds or even thousands of galaxies. Similar to NGC 34, Andromeda and the Milky Way colliding will create a new, larger galaxy, however unlike its ancestors, this new system turns out to be a gigantic elliptical rather than spiral. A galaxy type known as an elliptical galaxy has a roughly ellipsoidal shape and a smooth, virtually featureless appearance. Milkdromeda is the name given to this new galaxy by the study's authors. What do you think of it? Tell us in the comments section below. You don't need to be afraid though, as we have stated. You will pass away long before that occurs. You need not be afraid even if you discover the long life elixir and continue to exist after 10 billion years. Although there are around 1 trillion stars in the Andromeda Galaxy and 300 billion stars in the Milky Way, the likelihood of even two stars colliding is extremely remote due to their enormous separation from one another. Proxima Centauri, for instance, is around 4.2 light years or 30 million solar diameters from the Sun. To give you an idea of the scale, if the Sun were a ping pong ball, Proxima Centauri would be a P, about 1,100 kilometers or 680 miles away, and the Milky Way would be around 30 million km or 19 million miles wide. Despite the fact that stars are more numerous near each galaxy center, the average distance between them is still 160 billion kilometers or 100 billion miles. This is equivalent to one ping pong ball every 3.2 kilometers or 2 miles. The collision of any two stars from the merging galaxies is therefore incredibly unlikely. But in this situation, what will happen to the solar system? To help us continue to develop and make these films better for you, the viewer, be sure to like or dislike the video before finding out the answer to this question. 
Moreover, be sure to click the bell to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. According to projections, the solar system will be three times farther from the galactic core than it is right now. The solar system may be ejected from the new galaxy at some point during the collision, according to their predictions, which have a 12% likelihood. The likelihood of any kind of disturbance to the sun or planets themselves may be remote, and such an occurrence would not have any negative effects on the system. The Earth's surface will also be far too hot for liquid water to exist by the time the two galaxies collide, putting an end to all terrestrial life. This is predicted to happen in around 3.75 billion years due to the sun's continuously increasing luminosity. The authors anticipate that the merger will take 10 billion years to complete, which is longer than in earlier simulations, but means that the sun won't survive long enough to find a home in the new galaxy. This is a somber note on which the research finishes. Isn't it lovely? Even though we won't be able to see it happen in person, we can still forecast what will happen in the future. What an amazing moment to be alive. Here's where the video ends. Thank you everybody for watching. The Milky Way Andromeda collision is something we won't see. Do you find that upsetting? Tell us in the comment section below and see you on the channel again soon.